Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Thursday, May 25th, Cycle Day B. Good morning, I'm Kendall. And I'm Allie. A big congratulations to the varsity softball team for defeating Conoma Township and becoming the 2017 District 5A AA Subregional Champions. The final score was 13-0 in six innings. The girls will compete in the first round of the PIAA State Playoffs on Monday, June 5th against the District 3 Champions, which is to be determined. Attention juniors who participate in a fall, winter, and spring sport. If you would like to get your uniform for your senior pictures this summer, please contact Mr. Slatkoff or Ms. Cover by Friday, June 2nd. You should inform them of the sport, uniform number, and color of the jersey that you would like to wear for your picture. After the pictures are taken, uniforms must be returned to Mr. Slatkoff or Ms. Cover. If you have any questions, please contact either of them. During all lunches, you can purchase a ticket to watch the final round of the dodgeball tournament for $2. A sign-up sheet for boys varsity basketball is in the cafeteria until Friday, May 26th. If you are going to be in grades 10 through, 10 through 12 next year and plan on playing in the summer league beginning at the end of May, please sign up by Friday. There will be a brief meeting on Friday at 2.30 in the cafeteria for anyone who has signed up. Uniforms must be turned into Miss Cover by Friday, May 26th in room 227B. Uniforms should be washed and placed in a bag with your name on it. Items to be collected are jerseys, pants, and belts. Sign-ups for the marching band, color guard, and majorettes are in the high school cafeteria. Please complete by June 5th if you wish to participate in indoor or outdoor next season. There will be a history club meeting on Wednesday, June 7th after school in Mrs. Blackburn's room. Please plan to attend as we will be voting on club officers for next year and we need two-thirds of the club to vote. Today for lunch we are having a meatball hoagie topped with melted cheese and spaghetti sauce, tossed salad, seasoned peas, mandarin oranges, and fruit juice. Thanks, Thanks and, and have, have a great, great day. day. This is Seth here with your brain teaser of the day. What fastens two people yet touches only one. If you guessed wedding ring, you are correct. Thanks and have a great day. It's time to wake up, people! This one goes out to teachers. Teachers and students. It's time to get our learn on. And we got a lot to learn too. I don't know it all, but I know a few things. Science. You hear? You take up space, you matter. It's just science, man. Don't be a bully. Don't even be a bully to the bullies. It just makes more bullies. We can all be awful sometimes. We can all also be awesome. It's time to be more awesome. And that's what it's time for. History. We gotta study it so we don't repeat it. But if history does repeat itself, now I'm gonna name my pet dinosaur, Reginald. I just hope he doesn't eat me. We can't just study history. We gotta make history. And history is made by ordinary people. Ordinary people like you and me. And that guy. The world's greatest thinkers. Confucius. Albert Einstein. Justin Timberlake. They put their pants on one leg at a time, just like me. But I put my pants on one leg at a time while I'm dancing. <laughs> you can go by. Yeah. You're gonna be in the video, though. Life to school, and you gotta show up. You can't just sleep in. You can't be late. And you can't just hang out in the bathroom last girl. <laughs> It's like what Whitman said, yellow. Except he didn't say that, but you would know that we would read a book, baby. Seriously, read a book, any book, except the vampire ones. You want to change the world? You got to know about it. What if Shakespeare didn't go to school? His plays would be even more confusing. To be or not to be? Is that the question? I don't know what question is. I didn't go to school. Anybody? 
Help me out, Tia. I got a question for you. But why are you teaching the world? How to be boring? How to make the world sad? <laughs> no! No, you're not. We're teaching the world what looks like to be awesome. No matter who you are, somebody's learning from you. Everybody's a teacher and everybody's a student. Look for the awesome. Teachers see things. They see when you're running down the hall. They see when you're passing notes. But they also see the person that we can all become someday. A writer or a speaker or Martin Luther King. Teachers, keep teaching. Students, keep studenting. That's not a word. Sorry about that. Here's the teachers that see the awesome. The homework is this. What do you want to teach the world? Do it. Let's make some history together because it's simple math. Together, we're better. Those girls are a little too loud. Is there a teacher inspires you? Let them know. This is for teachers everywhere, so share it with them. We gotta make the world awesome. Somebody's learning from you. I'm out. Uh, get to learn, all. We're making history. I'm gone. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Keep learning, people. Today's word of the day is hibernal. Use the adjective hibernal to describe something that has to do with winter, like a grizzly bear's cozy hibernal cave. Thanks and have a great day.